what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome I'm Sabrina also known as Marie J here on YouTube and I am wearing a shirt by the way it's just kind of hard to tell because it's an off shoulder top but anywho today I'm gonna be trying out a new drugstore makeup brand that I personally have never tried and surprisingly they're sold inside of Ulta stores and online on Ulta's website as well and I have never ever ever tried any of their products and so when they reached out to me and told me if I wanted to try some of their stuff I was very intrigued because like I said they're sold in Ulta stores and I've never tried them so I was like sure I'll try out the products on camera and see how they work for me so to me this is a new drugstore makeup brand new drugstore makeup that I've never ever tried some of you guys may have heard of the brand some of you guys may have not so the brand name is Catrice I believe that's how it's pronounced I believe it was sold first in the UK if I'm not mistaken I know they're like a European brand and then they started selling Catrice inside of the US in Ulta stores so let's get into it I know I'm kind of like talking to you guys a lot about the brand but I wanted to tell you guys you know what it's about because like I said I've never tried the product so they sent me quite a few products to try out I basically have my base on already because there wasn't a foundation in the batch and I tried to go to Ulta stores and they didn't carry the foundation in stores they only sold them online so I have my foundation on and my my concealer and everything like that but the rest of my face is going to be using only products from this brand. The first thing I'm gonna try out is an eyebrow product and this is the Catrice Cosmetics Eyebrow Stylist and this is in the color Brown Eyed Peas. This is what the product looks like. It comes with a spoolie on one side and then it also has the pencil on the other. So we're gonna see how this works out. My eyebrows need some work, okay? I need to go get my eyebrows done, just, just don't mind that, but we're gonna, we're gonna hope that this product will do me and my eyebrows some justice. Okay, I see I see you. So the the brow pencil is nice and what I like about it is that it's not waxy. It actually dries up to more of a powdery finish. So far, the brow pencil is working good. Then I'm just defining my brow and cleaning it up with a little bit of concealer. You can use any concealer that you would like. Let's set the rest of our face because I am starting to get a little bit oily around here. So I'm going to set my face with this Prime and Fine Mattifying Waterproof Transparent Powder. It says all of that on the front of this. And this is how it looks. So it is kind of translucent, but it has a little bit of a tint to it, which I personally like. So I'm just going to take my powder brush and run it in there. And you can see I'm a little bit oily on my forehead and on my cheeks. So that's where I'm going to apply it. I'm going to apply it like around the T-zone. We're just going to... Okay. Do you guys see that? How it mattified all of that area. Okay, now that our face is nice and matte, we can move on. I didn't set the tip of my nose because I want the tip of my nose to be a little bit more glowy we're gonna move on to bronzing to add some dimension and life back into our skin before i actually bronze though i'm gonna contour which i typically do but i usually do it with more of a bronzy shade but today i'm gonna use a little bit more of a cool tone shade as you can see here it's a lot more cool tone compared to something like this so this is the prime and fine professional contouring palette and i'm gonna apply that right here only just to add a little bit of shadow you see that right here just to create that shadow that's where this product comes in this is the catrice sun glow matte bronzing powder and it says this is for medium skin which i do have medium skin this is in the color zero or number zero three zero medium bronze then i'm just tapping that on top of the contour color so we can keep the shadow but add some color back into our skin. So again, we already have the shadow there. I'm just going to tap some of the bronzer on top. Now that we're all bronzed up, we're going to add a little bit of shadow. Not too much. It's actually really not going to be a lot of shadow. I'm just applying some of that bronzer that I just applied around the perimeter of my face. 
Just gonna throw that on to my eyelids. Not throw, that sounds pretty aggressive. But we're gonna sweep that onto our eyelids to give us a little bit more color there. And then I'm gonna take one of their eyeshadow palettes, which you guys will see right now. So I'm taking some of the Chocolate Nudes eyeshadow palette. And I'm gonna take the deepest brown, which is this one right here. And we're gonna run that on our eyelids. It's like a muted brown. It's actually not too, too warm. It's the perfect, it's like, a perfect medium brown. You guys know I love my everyday eyeshadow looks. I know some of you guys might get tired of me doing very similar natural looks, but that's just, that's my style, you guys. That is my style, if you guys haven't already noticed. <laughs> we're gonna do, we're gonna do highlight next. We're gonna do some highlight next. And they have a highlighting powder. It's a little bit more on the pink side, but as you can see, I am going for more of a bronze look. You can see it's, I mean, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it has a pink sheen to it. And then they also sent a few of their liquid metal eyeshadows. Liquid metal. I'm very excited to try these. This is what it looks like. It's very shimmery. This is calling my name. This is the color 030. We are the champagne. So I'm going to take a fan brush and I'm going to use this eyeshadow as a highlight because... Liquid metal sounds like something I want to use as a highlight. All on, oh my goodness. This is exactly what I was picturing as my highlight for today. And it's very bronzy. And it does come up like a liquid metallic eyeshadow. You can see how pigmented that is. This is their illuminating blush in the color la vie and rose it's kind of like two blushes in one on the top and the bottom it's a little bit deeper and then in the middle it's more of a peachy coral color it's showing up a little bit but it's a little too light that it kind of blends right into my skin it doesn't really give me much of a blushed look really not too much of a difference um but from here we're gonna go ahead and do our uh, mascara. I'm gonna actually do a combo of two, so I'm gonna do a little mascara cocktail. This is their Lashes to Kill in Ultimate Black and their Glam and Doll. So we're gonna coat this. See, yeah, that automatically added a lot more curl to my lashes. I don't know if you guys can see that on here. It's very comparable to some high end mascaras. Uh, it curled my lashes a lot and it added. A pretty good amount of volume so now I'm gonna do the lashes to kill on top of that yeah see it almost looks like I'm even wearing like some really natural falsies I of course have to wait until my mascara dries so I can clean up you know where I got mascara on my eyelid okay I took off the mascara that was on my eyelids and this mascara is actually really bomb like both of them mixed together or if you do just the one that has like the curl it's the um glam and doll this one is i mean this one alone uh we're gonna move on to what else do we have left that i need to do last step is to do a lip color and i'm gonna do a glossy lip because my lips are a little bit more on the dry side so i'm using their catrice long lasting lip pencil and this also claims to be waterproof and this is in the color vintage rose this color is actually like the exact color of my lips. So it's you can't see much of a difference. On my hand, you can though. On my hand, you can see it's like a rosy nude. That's really pretty. And then we're going to do a little bit of... Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, I actually forgot to apply my brow gel. This is the Eyebrow Filler Perfecting and Shaping Gel. This is essential for somebody who has curly brows like me. Since this lip color is a lot more on the nude side and it basically matches my lips, I'm going to go over top of it with a lip color. This is Luminous Lips in the color Coffee and Cream. I add a little bit of a sheen to it. It's like a baby pink color. And then to top it off, we're using this Volumizing Lip Booster. I believe this is a plumping gloss. But I'm mainly using this for the gloss effect, not necessarily for the plumping effect. So we're just going to put this in the center of our lips. 
So that's how it looks with this lip color right here. It is a little bit more on the baby pink side, which I typically don't use colors that are more on the baby pink side. I'm going to try out a different lip color that they sent me as well, so you guys can see how it looks with like two different lip options. So this is the Glossy Baby Pink. This is their ultimate in a rose garden. Looks almost kind of like a my lips but better color. I do want to add a little bit more of a brownish tint to it because I don't typically do pinky colors. So what I'm going to do is actually tap a little bit of the contouring duo stick. Yes, this is a contouring duo stick. But I'm going to apply a little bit of the brown on top. There you go. And just like that, we have a more of a brownish gray nude lip color. But those are all of the products that I put to the test, kind of like a first impressions. The products that I, I'm definitely going to be using a lot more of. So let's start off, let's go in order. I was going to skip to mascaras right away, but let's go in order. So as far as, actually no, we still have to do the setting spray. This is their multi-talent fixing spray, prime and fine. That automatically added like a super glow to my skin look okay so now going in order of how I apply the product so the brow pencil is a yes for me I really do like it for like a drugstore eyebrow pencil it's not waxy it's not oily looking at all even after I've had it on for a while so this yes yes and yes i believe we did bronzing after that i'm not sure we're just gonna pick up products and go so the prime and fine professional contouring palette now this bronzing color or contouring color is nice for me personally i wouldn't use it a whole ton or a whole lot because i don't like gray tone contouring products i typically like going on the bronzy side but for somebody who does like a little bit more gray tone contour colors, I think this would work really nicely because it didn't look patchy and it didn't look ashy at all on my skin tone. So for somebody who does like a little bit more of that shadow effect for their contour, then I would say that you would enjoy this a lot. Um, and then this bronzer, I really, really like. I'm going to be using this... Um, you know in the future because I do like the color it's not too deep it's like the perfect bronzing color for my skin tone without doing too much like sometimes I get bronzers and I accidentally get shades that are a little bit too dark and then I can't build it up because it's just very pigmented when I put it on but this one I'm able to build it up without it looking like um, muddy so like this one I really really do you'll be seeing this in future tutorials um, as far as the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. This did mattify a lot as you guys saw and also comes with a mirror. But this did mattify. So with this one I did enjoy it. I will probably just apply it in the T-zone area. I wouldn't really use it for underneath my eyes because I don't like to use mattifying powders underneath my eyes. At least not a lot. The only one that I use is one of the Cover FX ones, but that one is not too intense. But this one, yeah, for all over setting the face, it's nice. It doesn't really have um, like a white cast at all. And as long as you don't put too much of this, you shouldn't have flashback. Like I said, I would probably only recommend doing this in the T-zone. The blush, unfortunately, was a no for me just because it didn't really show up on my skin tone. And I was kind of going in and going in and trying to apply it. And it didn't really show up. And you can see... It looks like it would be a pretty pigmented blush and swatching it, I mean, it, even swatching it doesn't really show up. So for me, the blush was a no, maybe a deeper blush color, um, but this specific one unfortunately did not work out for me. The eyeshadows do feel nice. I only use, of course, the brown one, but it did come up, you know, semi-pigmented. It wasn't like super intense chocolate deep brown. But for somebody like me, or if you enjoy uh, more nude, natural colors, then this palette would be cute. Mascaras, yes. Do I really even have to say anything? These ones, I will most definitely be using. I'm obsessed with this one. This is a Glamin doll. It like curls my lashes and it also added volume and it made them a lot darker. And this one just added a lot more darkness and it just added, you know, a little bit more volume as well. Sorry, I'm out of focus, you guys. Okay, there you go. So then from there, we did their liquid metal eyeshadow. 
And I do like this one as a highlight, and I think this would work perfect as an eyeshadow as well. It is a little bit more on the silver side. It's not as gold as it looks in the pan, but it is very, very pigmented. Brow filler. It's a basic brow gel. It does have a tint to it. Um, it doesn't have too much of a hold though, which I typically like to have eyebrow gels that have a lot of hold because my eyebrow hairs are very curly. So this one, I mean, works okay. Lip liner, the lip liner is very creamy. It's just the color, it like blends right into my lips, which is fine. It works for a very, very, very nude, neutral lip. And then as far as the lip colors, the plumping gloss does give you that tingly effect. So if you don't like that, then I wouldn't suggest it. But I mean, it's a pump, it's a plumping gloss. So of course it's going to do that. But it is like a rosy pink color. I wish it was like a clear so I can wear it with like every lip color. And the setting spray. I actually like the setting spray. So it did automatically add a lot more of a, a shine not a shine that sounds really like something that somebody with oily skin wouldn't want but it gave me a little bit more of a, a glow it made my skin look a lot more dewy and it took away all of the powderiness um, that I had so it's kind of like a fix plus kind of thing like you put it on and it kind of like melts your makeup into your skin and it makes it look a lot more natural and you can use this spray for prepping your skin for priming and you can also use it for setting your face and making your makeup last a little bit longer let me know down below in the comment section if you have ever tried any of catrice's products and let me know what your favorite product was for me i mean all the products worked really well i told you guys I just told you guys which ones i liked but a lot of the products worked really well for me which is great because now i know that when i go to ulta i can definitely shop in that section now i have to keep an eye out because I don't even know where the Catrice section is, but I would love to see a lot more of their like liquid metal shadows and just um, get to try out their foundation as well. Now that I've heard of the brand, I looked it up and I saw that their foundation had some pretty good reviews. So like I said, if you've tried the products, let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I love you guys and I will talk to you all in my next video.